Today we're in Miami. We are presenting a masterclass on everything that we know about visual snow syndrome. We're working with several doctors who've had some experience with visual snow and they're enhancing their knowledge to provide better care for their patients. It's been a wonderful experience and it's been a very open and giving discussion. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is make sure that as many people understand what a visual snow patient is, what are their symptoms, what are their signs, and then what can we do to help them improve and get better and get really get back to that quality of life that they're looking for. The reason I'm taking this course is to learn as much as I can about visual snow syndrome, how to better help my patients. So I really want to just make sure I get the protocol, the treatment down, and make sure I'm doing all the right things to help all my patients coming in moving forward. We've been seeing patients for many years who have come in with visual snow syndrome, but up until this point, there hasn't been a comprehensive plan for them that can directly tell us which direction to go. And I'm here today to learn more about visual snow syndrome and how to best treat my patients. The benefit of working in person with different eye doctors from across the country is understanding that visual snow patients are quite complex and giving them the confidence and understanding that they can manage this piece because it may not be something they're quite accustomed to. We're allowed to have conversations with the participants in the classroom. We can gain from everybody's experience. We're learning new things from the participants. The participants are learning from us and it creates that great interaction. There's also a hands-on component to our classes where they can try out some of the equipment that we use, some of the testing equipment, some of the training equipment. There's so much going on in research and experimentation and I think that it was very comforting for us to learn that there are people treating it, there is hope. In order to help patients, we as doctors need to have an in-depth understanding of what's going on. So I, I hope to be an advocate for the patients as well as an individual who can help to, to treat them and help them to move forward. I attribute the increase in visual snow patients really to increased awareness. The visual snow initiative is a name that we hear every exam for uh, increasing awareness for the condition. We were very excited to find the visual snow initiative. It's a continual source of, of information and inspiration actually. What we're doing now is we're able to refer them to the master list on the Visual Snow Initiative website. I feel like the Visual Snow Initiative has brought a lot more attention to the condition and so a lot more patients are aware that this is what they have going on, even if they have had it for many, many years. I think it, it really is important for other professionals to take the master class in order to gain a broader understanding of visual snow, to know what the resources are within their community in order to appropriately refer their patients. I would recommend every optometrist who has even a remote interest in visual snow syndrome to take this course. I encourage all practitioners to come and take our master class if they want to provide the best quality of care and the most current compassionate care for their patients. They can expect uh, deeper understanding and increase in techniques and a more solid treatment plan for their patients.